Hey guys, Jared here. So you've decided to upgrade your HTC One from Android 4.1.2 to 4.2.2, but there's a bit of an issue. You're probably missing a lot of storage. Well, it's a common mistake. It happens to the best of us, including me. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you guys how to gain back all of that storage step by step. We'll do it together. We'll get through it together. It's not that difficult. Take a deep breath. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, you ready to get started? Let's do it. So before we do, though, um, for those of you with Mac computers or any other platform other than Windows, this is not for you. I'm sorry. Um, I do have a Mac computer, but I haven't really versed myself well enough in it yet to load Boot Camp and then run Windows off of it. Uh, so we're just going to be doing this off of my old um, Windows 7 netbook here, actually. This just worked just fine for me, which is actually what I use to do it on my own uh, HTC One. So first things first, we're going to need a we're going to need a recovery that has the option to ADB sideload. Now my um, recovery of preference is um, TWRP. So we're going to go to the market and you're going to look for Goo Manager as you can see right there. Okay. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and we're going to download it and click accept. That should just be uh, just a second here. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and open it up, give it root permission, okay? And what you're going to do is actually go to the menu, so whatever um, way you have on your HTC One to get into the menu options. I know it's kind of different across the board nowadays. Um, and once you get into menu, you'll notice that we have an option to install Open Recovery Script. So you're going to want to click on Open Recovery Script. It'll take about, at the max, maybe five minutes to complete the process. What it's going to do is download um, the recovery for you if you don't already have it installed, and then it's going to install it for you. Don't worry, your phone's not going to reboot or do anything crazy. It's going to be nice and smooth and behind the scenes. Um, it'll then tell you once it's done, but you'll probably notice it's done once you know the um, status or sorry the notification tray is clean and everything like that. Okay, so once you have TWRP recovery installed via Goo Manager, then we can kind of get started. Now, first and foremost, what you're going to need to do is actually download the Android SDK, okay? And I'll show you where to do that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and download the Android SDK. Um, you're gonna have to forgive me because I'm gonna be kind of popping in and out from behind the microphone here uh, to use my computer. So we're gonna go ahead and navigate to our browser and uh, just wait for that to load up. I probably should have had it loaded up in hindsight, ah, but what the hell, eh? Alrighty, once you're at Google, what you're gonna wanna type in is uh, do a little search just to keep things easy for Android SDK. Now you'll see this second option here, which is Android SDK, Android developers. This is actually the official Android development site. So we're gonna go ahead and if I can locate my cursor, there it is, we're gonna click on that and that'll take us to the correct page. I'll be having links in the description below. So you probably don't even actually need to do any of this Googling stuff. Um, I'll be doing all of this for you. There'll, there'll be links in the description below. So don't worry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and um, you're gonna click on this big blue button here that says download the SDK. Now, once that's downloaded, I'll show you what we get. Um, it is in my downloads folder here. And this is what it's gonna look like right there. It'll say ADT bundle Windows x86. Um, I believe it's going to ask you if you if you want to install a 32-bit or 64-bit. So depending on what version of Windows you have, 32 or 64, just to download the appropriate one for you. Uh, so it'll come in as a zip file. Obviously, if you most likely a lot of you guys have WinRAR. So if you don't, download WinRAR from like CNET, you know, something like that, free program, uh, and then you're going to extract it. Now, once you extract it, um, I'll show you the file that you're going to come up with. Uh, which I can actually do through here because I put it in my C drive and I'll explain why in just a moment. Um, you'll end up getting this folder right there, exactly the same, ADT, bundle, Windows 86, except you see all these folders that I have underneath it. Those were actually previously in the um, the folder that you, or sorry, the zip that you just extracted, right? So if I click on it now, you'll see that it's empty. Now, the reason I did that is for simplicity. Once you have this ready to go, um, what I recommend you doing is go to your C drive, like I've done here, and just start a new folder and just name it Android, just to keep things real simple, okay? Then drag and drop that extracted folder into the Android folder on your C drive. Okay, like so. But then go into that um, folder and uh, highlight everything and then click on um, control cut 
and we're just going to drop it into our new Android folder so that uh, Eclipse SDK and SDK Manager are there. Okay. Now, chances are if you've just downloaded SDK Manager, everything you need is all up to date. All of the special 4.1.2 and 4.2.2 files inside the SDK Manager are all up to date. However, if you already have SDK Manager installed in your computer uh, before watching this computer, you're going to want to double click on it and wait for the program to open. All right, now once the program's open, it's gonna, you're going to see this little green bar moving across the bottom. Things are going to be downloading and loading and updating, things like that. What you're going to want to make sure you do is update uh, the Android 4.2.2 API 17 as well as the Android 4.1.2. You can always just go ahead and click on this um, little updates feature here, and that should do it all for you. So once we've got, and that, that might take a while. My computer, again, this is a netbook, so this is really, really slow. Um, it took me a little while, but for some of you guys out there, I'm pretty sure you'll be just fine. Um, now, with that said, you'll this is the uh, one of the folders that we'll be paying a lot of attention to, which is just the SDK folder, okay? So you're going to open that up. And you'll notice we've got a bunch of other folders in here. More specifically, the one we're going to be paying attention to in here is Platform Tool. So if we double click in there, this is actually where all of our ADB stuff is. This is how your computer communicates with your phone um, on a root level. Okay. Uh, you'll also notice that I actually have uh, Viper One ROM in there. Now the reason behind that is because once we wipe your internal SD card completely clean, we're formatting it. There is nothing. This isn't like flashing a new ROM where you're just wiping it on a factory data reset level. This is literally reformatting your um, internal drive, meaning there is going to be no ROMs on there for you to flash to once you're done that. Okay. So in order for us to push a new ROM to our phone after the internal wipe is done, um, we have to use ADB. But the only way you can push that file is by having the particular ROM file you want in the ADB folder itself. So it has quick access to push that file to your phone. Okay. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and back out of there. Now I'm going to presume that you all have the HTC One drivers installed correctly on your computer. That is very important. Just Google HTC drivers if you don't already have them, but chances are you probably do, especially if you've already rooted your phone and you're watching this video. Okay, so now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So um, first thing that I'm going to recommend you do is open, connect your HTC One to your computer, open up the internal storage, right? And then just uh, highlight everything in your internal storage and back it up into a folder on your desktop. As you can see here, I've already did mine just in case because you never know, right? Um, I could name my folder HTC One SD Card Backup. Nice and simple. Everything inside there is there from before I did this to my phone already. So um, this is just in case it's sort of a fail safe. If you totally garble it up, um, then we do, we, we kind of have a, a fallback um, operating system right there in that folder. Okay. So, uh, with that said, next thing you're going to want to do is, um, go to your phone and, um, because we actually have, um, TWRP recovery installed, what we can do, let me just put this back onto manual focus so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing here. And we'll turn that back on. Um, so what you're going to do is we're going to navigate to goo manager and then we're going to boot into recovery and yes, so this will boot into recovery. All right, so now that we've booted into our recovery, what we're gonna to wanna to do is click on the wipe tab. Now you've got two options here. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with TWRP. So you've got advanced wipe, which is generally the generic way of how we um, wipe our device before we flash ROM. Well, we're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna to be formatting data. So go ahead and click on that. And you can actually read here, it says, uh, format data will wipe all of your apps, backups, pictures, videos, media, and removes encryption on internal storage. This cannot be undone. Press back to cancel or type yes to continue. So basically what they're saying is make sure you did a backup of your internal storage like I recommended to you guys earlier um, before you do this, okay? Because everything is gone, literally gone, everything. Um, so we're going to type yes because I've already done that and I'm going to click go. So as you can see here, we've got a little progress bar going across the bottom and this will do its thing. It'll probably take about 60 seconds or so. So really quickly go take a potty break. <laughs> uh, who says potty anymore? Or, you know, grab yourself a drink of water, whatever it takes. Um, we'll be back in just a moment. Oh, never mind. We won't be back in just a moment because we're ready to go. So um, now our internal storage is completely wiped. So if I was to click on go back, back, and I click on install, you can see that our internal storage is completely 
empty. There is nothing. There is nothing on this. If I wanted a flash ROM, I'm screwed because I can't connect this to the computer and boot into Android to load a custom ROM onto it. So we have to push it via ADB. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to click back on there. And what you're going to do is actually, um, I actually have this plugged into my charger at the moment. So let me just unplug it from my charger and I'm going to grab my USB cable and I'm going to plug it in to my computer like so obviously you guys can't see it all you can do is hear it uh so i'm plugging in actually no wait i'm not going to plug it in just yet i want to show you guys um so what we're going to be doing actually is uh jumping into advanced and you'll see there a little thing that says adb side load okay so we click on adb side load we swipe it across it puts it in this adb side load type mode here uh then what we're going to go ahead and do is plug in our um cable okay and if i can just go ahead and refocus this Alrighty, so now what we want to do is double check that our drivers have been installed properly. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to open up a command prompt. So you're going to go down to your start menu and you're going to type in CMD, hit enter. That'll open up our command prompt. But now we need to actually direct it to the directories <laughs> that the files that we need are stored in. So um, if you follow the sort of chain of, of folders that I made that I show you guys putting uh, creating an Android folder on your uh, C drive and then doing everything that I showed you in the beginning of the video, um, your setup should be exactly like mine and the instructions should be exactly the same. So what we're going to do is type in, sorry, CD space C colon backslash. Boom. There we go. Alrighty. Next thing we need to type in is CD Android. So this is going to be directing it to the Android um, folder that we had just created on the um, C drive. So boom, as you can see, C Android. So the next step from there is we're going to be typing in Android or sorry, CD space SDK backslash platform doing this one handed here dash tools all right and that puts us into the platform tools where our sdk is going to be located or sorry sdk where the adb is going to be located so now what we want to do is type in adv or sorry adb devices all right just like that click enter and this is going to find um, to make sure that your device is actually being picked up via ADB. So this is picking up the ADB devices that are connected to your computer. If I was to unplug my phone right now, that wouldn't be showing up. So you can see it gives us a bit of a serial code. That is your device's ADB serial code, uh, to put it plainly. So that means that we are, in fact, uh, up and running. We can start pushing files to it. If there's a chance that yours didn't show up there, that means that your HTC drivers are not successfully installed, which is fine, okay? It doesn't mean anything if your phone is wiped or anything like that. This is on the PC end of things, so we just need to basically install the HTC drivers. So go back, do some Googling, things like that. Um, it's not very difficult. Just install your HTC drivers and you'll be okay. I may even link for you guys down below um, uh, uh, the HTC Universal Naked drivers from um, Kush, whom I'm not a huge fan of, but he does good work. So um, if you guys want it, I'll give you guys a little cheat link down below and you can install it just in case you need those drivers. Okay, anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. So now you remember how I showed you how I have the ROM file that I want to push to my device inside that ADB folder, right? Well, the reason behind that, like I mentioned before, so that we can actually, the ADB program here um, or protocol can find it really quickly. It's right there, ready to go. So all we have to do is type in ADB sideload. Whoops. And then we just type in the name of our ROM. So in this instance, if we were to go back to um, our computer here and we'll just double check just so we can show you guys for demonstration purposes and back into Android and SDK platform tools. And in here, so you can see it says Viper one underscore 1.0.0. So that's what we're going to type in here, but you're also going to want to type in dot zip after. So we're going to type in Viper one. Uh, where's the shift button on this? <laughs> underscore one dot zero dot zero. And then because it's a zip file dot zip. All right, then we just go ahead and press enter. 
and this will start pushing um, the file eventually to our phone. Sometimes it takes a little bit to go. If your computer is faster than mine, which it most likely is, it'll probably start up a little bit quicker, uh, but eventually we'll start seeing the progress um, in a numeric value start to increase. Alrighty, and it's all done. As you can see, it reached 100%, and there's that string, that uh, SDK slash platform dash tools that I told you about. So that means that we're all finished, but we still need to reboot our phone into recovery. So what we type is ADB reboot recovery. And it's that simple, folks. And as you can see, we hit that, and that will do something to our phone. And you will just watch in amazement as this eventually turns on. There we go. And you'll notice, actually, you might not be able to see, but it actually says at the top there, entering recovery. And we're back into team win. Um, at this point in time, you can actually unplug your USB cable. And we're going to go ahead and navigate to the install. And you'll actually notice, actually, you know what? Let me let me bring this in. Let, let's, let's bring it in, folks. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in here. Uh, I'll just refocus. There we go. So as you can see, um, we actually have, it's renamed it for some reason. I don't understand why it does that. It's done that only twice now. But um, so it's renamed it to silo.zip. That is actually our Viper One ROM. It's called silo.zip. Strange, right? Don't ask me why. Go ahead and click on it. And because everything is completely fat, flashed as it is anyways, we're just going to go ahead and swipe across. And considering Viper One ROM is an Aroma installer, that Aroma installer should pop up. Boom. There we go, folks. And that's how you wipe your internal storage and format it and push a custom ROM or any ROM you want to your phone so that you actually have something to boot into. So we're going to go ahead and prove to you that that memory is free as soon as I finish setting this ROM up. Give me one moment. We'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go, guys. A freshly installed Viper One ROM, but proof is in the pudding, is it not? So let's go ahead, jump into settings, scroll to the bottom, jump into storage, and as you can see, we've finally regained all of our storage back that we previously had lost. So that's it, folks. You now have a completely reformatted and fresh internal storage for your HTC One to load up with pictures, movies, music, and applications. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, I would love it if you could click that likes button down below. And hey, if you're new to my channel, you may want to subscribe for more videos like this one in the near future. And you can always stay up to date on all things The Smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google+. That's it for this one, though, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.